Hello violin players! Today we're going to be working on Lightly Row in our Suzuki book. So if you're looking at Lightly Row, the rhythms are quarter notes, the do's, do, 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 and half notes. Do, do. So you have seen half notes before, so this is kind of a review. I'm just going to cycle the rhythm that we have in the first measure on my open A string. So that's going to be quarter, quarter, half note. And I'll just cycle that through a few times to get a nice steady beat going with my bow. Once more. And now I'm going to practice the string crossing in measure one. It starts on an open E and then goes to my A string on the second quarter note. E is the highest pitch that you use in Lightly Row, um, and it starts the piece right off with your first note. So here is what my bow does in measure one. I'm going to cycle that. Two more. questions about the notes in Lightly Row just because we're a little less familiar with our um, higher notes on our A string because we learned those um, after we learned our D string notes. So I want you to look right at measure three in the first line of Lightly Row and measures three and four are kind of a complete note guide to all the notes you need. So it starts on your A, on your open A, and then it just walks up the scale in measure three. So you have your A, your B, your C sharp, and your high D. And then if you notice measure four, that's your open E. So all the notes that you need for lightly row are contained in measures three and four of the first line. And you can kind of use those for reference if there's a note that you're stuck on at all. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning and you can check against that note guide. My first note is an open E, like I said earlier, and then my second note is a C sharp. I'm gonna tunnel that C sharp. There's so many tunneling opportunities in this um, piece. So I'm gonna start off right away with a tunnel on my C sharp, and my bow will be set to go on my E. And I'll let you take a sec to look at the notes of measures one and two. And now I'm going to play them. So here are measures one and two of Lightly Row. One, two, ready, go. So you heard my half notes there and you also heard that I skipped. So I went from a E skipping down to a C sharp and then I went from a D skipping down to a B. All right, I'm gonna do those two measures one more time. Ready, and. Okay, here's the entire first line of Lightly Row. One, two, ready, go. time for good luck. First line of Lightly Row. One, two, ready, go. Right, moving on to the second line. The second line will start on an up bow. There are fewer half notes, but if you look at the pitches of the notes, they're actually very similar in the first two measures, like this. All right, in measure three, we have a little bit of a challenge. We have an A that skips to a C sharp, and then another tunneling opportunity when we go over to two E's. And then in the last measure of the second line, 
we're back to the C-sharps. So let's do measures three and four of the second line a few times. It will start on an up bow in the piece, but just for now, um, I'll start on a down bow because it's just easier to do that when we're echoing. So here are measures three and four of the second line. Tunnel. Okay, make sure you're hopping from the A to the C sharp, keeping that C sharp down to tunnel, crossing your bow, E, E, and then you will be so happy you did that tunnel because you're just back to your C sharp. Measures three and four on the second line. One more time. Now let's do that two more times because that's kind of tricky. So measures three and four of the second line. Ready, go. And if you're having trouble with that tunnel, check and make sure your wrist is straight and make sure that your elbow is directly under your instrument. Make sure it's not swinging out like this because that can mess up a tunnel pretty quickly. All right, so I'm checking my hand position for a last run through of measures three and four of the second line. Ready, go. Okay, I'm going to play the second line all the way through, setting up my tunnel. It starts on an up bow, do that if you can. One, two, ready, go. Okay, the second line and fourth line are the same, so we just have one more line to learn, the third line. Um, it is kind of the odd man out, it doesn't have um, any of the same pitch patterns as the other lines, um, but it does move a little more by step. So if you're looking at those pitches, it starts with a B and then it steps up. C sharp, D. Back to a C sharp. one more time. As long as you're following the pitches in the line, there's nothing particularly new or difficult about this one. Here's line three again. One, two, ready, go. And if I'm going down to the fourth line, I'm just going to rotate my violin so you can see what I did. I had a um, C sharp, D, E in the last measure, but I picked up my D. My C sharp is already pre-tunneled. So when I do the fourth line, that tunnel's already set. you need for Lightly Row. When you're done, you can try a playthrough along with one of the other videos on the playlist. Bye!